Uh, my name is David Mwangi. Um, I come from Mukuru, a settlement being called uh, Viwandani, Lungalunga village. My family also live in that village. I'm also in Mungano, working as a mobilizer, the community mobilizer in the SPA plan. The SPA meeting, eh? or the SPA consultation, eh? and where the SPA started, eh? is a, 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 a different thing because now the SPA is something that is being driven by the, the community. The community is supposed to spearhead the, the process. And that's where I came in. Eh? Trying to, to, you know, to sell good news of the, about the SPA and how people can also uh, you know, engage now and also participate in the SPA. Being the community mobilizer, my role is to create that awareness, to sensitize people about the SPA, and also to, to organize the community for them to get the information. We do the, the, the house to house outreaches, we also do the gatherings, trying to educate people because I don't work alone, we have other, the other mobilizers from each and every village. When we are talking about the SPA, we know they are, you know, it cannot favor each and everyone. You know, like a poverty penalty. We are now people, you know, are paying more for the services. The services that are being offered to them, they are paying more. Because when you, when you look at even our formal of, uh, structures that we are living in, uh, when you compare that structure and also the, the, the risk that are involved in, it's like uh, you are paying more for that service. So uh, for the people who now, you know, like uh, they don't see like whether the SPA is going to work in Mokuru, it's not, it's just because that now that they don't have a clear information about what SPA is dealing with. Some of them, they are, they are saying that, uh, you know, it's about housing, of which we have seen in Kibera that happened. People are being built uh, a modern housing, but this is a special planning area where now people, you know, will organize themselves. First, for, first of all, what we need is the services. Services we need like uh, health services. We need water services. Education system has to be revealed. Our youth and culture, and also our environment. We are telling people now, don't fear, because this is not the, you know, the plan. Maybe the government is using to come and take away your property. But this is a plan that is coming to, to also to build that resilience huh, in the community. Also to, to see people, you know, benefiting a lot. Even those, the, the structure owners who now fear that they are not going to benefit. Because when you have a services, when you have a road, a proper road, when you have, have a, you know, a, maybe say, let's say like a health facility in our area, when you have a, a, a proper schools in our area, when youths are more empowered, also women are more empowered, when you have a social halls, those are the things now that, you know, will also encourage other people who are living in other areas to, to relocate, to come to, maybe in Mokuru, because we have those services in our, at our doorsteps. So people will benefit more, even those structure owners that they fear that they won't benefit. So it's uh, more likely now the SPA, maybe in the coming days, people will start appreciating it because we are not coming to be demolished, but we are bringing uh, services close uh, also, you know, at our do doorsteps. There are those people who now feel like, uh, you know, that like if it's like they are left behind with the SPA planning, but uh, you know, it's not late because some of these consultations have just started. You know, we haven't come with a plan. People are not sitting in a boardroom meeting coming up with a plan, but is the, the, you know, is the residents, the, the people of Mokuru coming up with the plans. I've seen like a SP is something that is, you know, even at far end, will be something that is you know going to change the the face of mokuru because i've been in mokuru for about now 23 years i was born and raised there i also have my family there 
even the, the you know the ancestors uh, our ancestors and also the the founder of these uh, you know slums some of them happens to be our relatives and also they had uh, that vision of you know living in a better places and um, that's something that i feel myself eh? for me to change something eh? Uh, or the, of all, whenever you have a problem, for you to run away from the problem is not the, the best thing, the way to solve it. But when you are trying to address now the problem, you know, also trying to see now how you can, you know, move a, away from that situation. Because now the SPA is coming to enlighten people, to, to, to link people to so many opportunities. Like now the county government is trying to see how it can implement so, so various opportunities, various challenges in, uh, in Mokuru. So I think uh, for me, my dream is uh, I want to see because, uh, you know, also I, I, even the people who are, you know, are less fortunate, people who are now not able to, to speak about the, uh, the situations in Mokuru. But if I'm able to speak the situations in Mokuru, I don't want to sell the bad name of Mokuru, but I want to sell it as accordingly. And also see whether those people can be linked with uh, so many opportunities. And also try, you know, or the, or themselves, they can also try to, to be connected to so many opportunities for them to see whether this, they can be offered with the help about the land eh, in Mokuru. Because we have se faced so many challenges and mobilizers, and also, uh, you know, the people who are now selling the positive thing about the SPA, have faced a lot of challenges. Eh? People saying that, you know, we are, you, this is the tactics of the government, or, you know, trying to take away this land from. And also we know that maybe we are being used by the, the, the private developers who owned that land there before. They maybe they are using now the Mungano, but this is one of the tactics that we are doing to provoke now these those people. Now they can come out, you know, can be you know seen because some of them we hear about them, but we don't know whether they exist, whether those uh, documents are genuine, and also when when we find that eh, now remember that now people have been lived there for almost fifty years now. And when you are coming to say these people should move from that point, from that uh, land, uh, we are trying to use that and then, uh, you know, like tell that person to come in, a, you know, in a daylight, to be say that uh, the I own this land. We have also, you know, gone for uh, a peaceful demonstration, trying to to protest uh, against those people, you know, saying that they own land in Mokuru, and we we know very clearly that um, these people they not, don't own that land. The people who are living in that land are the ones who should maybe own that land. But uh, for that case, you know, we, we want now the government to reconsider us and also uh, try to, you know, to highlight those things and also assure the residents in Mokuru that the, the land belongs to them.